Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott finally coming at you guys with a new Let's Play on the channel. So, we will be starting Donkey Kong Land 2 for the Nintendo Game Boy. So yeah, starting things off, we got a text message about my girlfriend wanting to go shopping later. Well, if we should. Anyways, let's do this. Gangplank Galleon. So this game is literally a black and white port of Donkey Kong Country 2 for the Super Nintendo and Game Boy Advance. Wasn't out for the Game Boy Advance yet. Though, the while like the levels are changed up and you can only have one Kong on screen at the same time, you do see a lot of the same stuff. And we got the traditional pirate, pirate music. Pirate. I want to see if I can get that banana, so... Juxa, go! Oh my gosh, a bonus! Wow, bonuses are so fulfilling in this game. And, whoa, that almost clipped through my hair. Wait, the ending of the level? Secrets. And I got another text message. Apparently a guy at work is already out smoking. Like, he literally got there late and is already out there smoking. Like, he has such a bad addiction, it's not even funny. And, Wait, Lockjaw's locker music playing in a level like this? Oh. Well, there's no uh, bonus there like there was in the original, so... That's good to know that they wouldn't put a bonus in such a bad location. Whoa. Like, the freaking controls are so fluid, it's not even funny. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, it's just a bunch of random bananas for no reason at all. Also, we got some climbing mechanics that seem to be pretty darn smooth. Let's see if we can, uh... I can get... Why is there just a random zinger? And this music does not fit above land. In this case, we're, I guess we're above sea, but... I don't trust that again. Oh, there's clearly something here. The letter O? What is this? Wait, there's DK coins? There are DK coins. We clearly missed the DK coin in level 1. We have to go back for it. I should have assumed that there would be DK coins, because the like original game is DK coins, but... Also, there's a bonus right there. Oh, we actually have a bonus that we actually have to do something in. This... It's kind of similar to the original one, I guess, except you didn't have to like jump back and forth like this. Though, it, oh, wow, that's weird. I actually do like it. Oh, there are bonus coins. So I'm kind of questioning whether or not that bonus that we actually found in level 1 was a bonus. I guess we'll see after this. Pink. Pink. Yeah, what's this? Woohoo! That really doesn't... Oh, I guess... We could go down that way, but whatever. Why would I have to do that? And why would I want to do that? Also, why are there always so many directions we can go? I'm assuming that's actually... Yeah, that, that actually brings us down into the barrel. I don't think getting one coin would really be worth it, though. Now, I did beat this game originally on my Game Boy. But I never really did LP it, because there was a part that I didn't really care for. And we'll probably get to that in a future episode. Well, obviously, we'll get to that in a... Okay, so we got the bonus. Yeah, see, Pirate Panic, we didn't complete anything. We didn't get the bonuses, nor did... I guess we found a warp. Maybe that's what we found. I think we found a warp. So let's ignore that for right now. And just continue up throughout the level like this. It's like, I'm assuming we skipped over a lot. Oh, yeah, and I also forgot to mention, collect the four uh, Kong letters to get a extra life. Though, at this rate, I really don't feel like we're going to need extra lives, because this game seems extremely easy, and I guess we have to go around to this barrel. Pretty much got to use Dixie almost for everything in this game. Like, I know Dixie is the OP Kong in, like, literally every game, including Tropical Freeze, but come on. Maybe there's only, like, one bonus per level, though, other than the DK coin. Uh, yeah, I want that. I don't think there's anything down there. 
At least not in this game. It doesn't seem like they hide stuff like over ledges. Oh, hey, clobber. Well, I guess I'll happily take this clobber. Why are there so many barrels just laying around? And also, I gotta check up there. Why do I have a feeling like the DK coin is up here? Because it is! Sweet. And we should be nearing the ending. So I'm pretty sure there's only gonna be one bonus here, especially in level one. And we spelt Kong. Is that the first time we actually spelt Kong? And but doink. Yeah, now we got everything. So anyways, let's go to the third level, Gang Flying Kigali. Okay. This is nothing like the original right here. Wait, what? Okay, I wanna check something out here. Oh, there's a bonus that way. Well, that wasn't really a bonus, it was just another warp. Wait, is that... Oh, I'm like, is that Funky's Flights down there? I don't want to go there yet, man. Anyways, let's go get the the actual stuff here. So, once again, we got another warp that we can avoid. Um, we haven't lost a Kong yet. Even though there are points in the game where the controls kind of give it out on me because of uh, just the way they actually work on the Game Boy. Also, another free life just coming up from a hole in the ground. Yeah, that doesn't seem at all really easy to get stuff. And remember, there's only one bo- Wait, I just realized it's Lockjaw's Locker music again. Also, also, why is there- why do I have a feeling that the bonus was actually down that hole? And we would have came out there? Also, seriously. The lives, game. The lives. Also, Rambi. Rambi is in this level, though, in the original, I believe. Yeah, he is. Because there's a part where we have to smash a wall. But can we do that in this? No, we can't do the wall smash. Well, the supercharge, I guess, is what you want to call it. Okay, so... There's that. I don't know what that is. I'm hoping it's just like a... Whatchamacallit, like a coin? Also, I guess you can't really go in those. Maybe they're just not something you can go inside? Also, TNT. Why would there be TNT? To kill the enemy that can't be killed? I guess. Maybe... Nope, nothing there. Also, there's the end of Rambi. I'm pretty sure this is the ending. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's just the letter G. Go figure. Oh, seriously? Nothing here either? Oh, man. Oh, wait, there's more to the level. That is an extremely easy to find DK coin as long as you don't skip over it. Now that we gotta find is that bonus. Don't don't touch him when he's angry. You know what? Let's jump down. Okay. Sorry, sorry if I'm not answering. I just have a text message, and yeah. So we. I think we're gonna have to come back because I really think that we missed the bonus back towards the beginning. Unless, okay, that was just bananas. Whatever. Can Kongs enter the door? No. But I don't see the point of that. Like, can I keep this and, like, maybe blow open an entrance that I don't know exists? Well, apparently not. No, I click down jump, thank you. We're gonna have to complete this level, complete this level, and come back. So let's take a break from that level just for a second and do Lockjaw's Locker, and then come back. We'll see how water levels start. So yeah, this is where we should hear the music, but yeah, we're hearing a lot of this soundtrack for some unknown reason. And also, did I just like skip over a bunch of the level? Am I missing anything? Also. 
Are those like bubbles down there? Just just like random bubbles. Ooh, smooth water mechanics. Yeah, I like me some smooth water mechanics. Oh my! Like, is it gonna be another one weird warp? Warp! You're at the end of the level because apparently in this game every level has a darn warp. Also, my biggest issue is swimming go down is extremely slow. Like, it was slow in the games to begin with, compared to swimming up. But this game cuts the cheese, man. Also, this is the DK Barrel. Also, should I even be following these? I really feel like... There we go! Smooth, and also, also I just went through Lockjaw like it was nothing. Oh, you have to click the jump button to use his attack, okay. Okay, I'm just simply looking for, like, hidden goodies. Because you never know where the darn bonuses are going to be in this game. Because clearly in the last level, I was in a, in a very obscure location. So, okay, it's something to go up, so let's go down. Uh, it's showing me bananas, but I can't go down there. So that's really weird. Oh, hey, Shuri. The starfish, which he gets his name from the fact that he's like a shuriken. Okay, this is like a maze. And I, for one, am not a fan of maze levels. This level in the original game, guys, was not a maze. It was amazing, but... Oh, hey, look, another one of me. Man, I swear... I swear you never take damage in this game from enemies at all. Okay. Oh, that for bananas? Um, okay, I just stopped spinning there for a second. I guess it doesn't really matter what Kong I have for a water level, but... I know for a fact that there is another Engard over here. Did I even say that the fish's name was Engard earlier? I don't think I did. Ow! Oh, I'm back, fish! Also, tell me to go that way. Also, this is interesting. We got ourselves a banana bunch. It's the banana bunch, not the Brady bunch. Wait, did I check on here? Uh, maybe I did. I don't know. I don't have the best memory when it comes to mazes and video games. Also, clearly a good spot to put a bonus. Maybe water levels in this game don't have bonuses. Like, I know certain levels in the other Donkey Kong Country games don't have bonuses, so maybe it's the same way for water levels in this game. Oh yeah, I'm like, Lockjaw better not be randomly invincible in this. I know his brother Snapjaw is. Snapjaw's always been invincible, but... Though, there's gotta be a DK coin here for a fact. Hey, okay, anything on this way since we have to go up? Whoa. Oh, wait a minute, you're telling me to go that way now. Why would you tell me to go that way? And there's clearly all this stuff I can do up here. Oh. It's a loop around, and enough. Okay, seriously, game, you gotta stop with the DK barrels. Like, it's a little too common. Also, why did I lose the end? Alright, there's nothing. See, DK barrel there, only a few enemies in between, and then a DK barrel over here. Like, why? Why is that a thing? So nothing that way, nothing that way. Uh, yeah. Also, the bananas appear down there. Okay, nothing over there? Wait a minute, what's this? There's gotta be more than just one coin over here. Nothing? Really? What the heck was that? Oh, okay, there is a DK coin, but there's no bonus. So this level's still gotta have a bonus in it. Like, I really feel like the bonus would be... Whoa. I really feel like that was, like, a really high... I don't wanna hit the warp again. Okay, there's the warp up there. So now we can just freely look for wherever the bonus is. And then we can just bum rush our way to the ending. 
I thought that ding was something other than just us co Okay, let's check. Nope. Okay, we're back. Why are you sugging Pokemon, Mr. Nostalgia Scott, to you? Oh, I, I don't know, guys. I don't even know why I do the things that I do. But see, I really feel like... I really feel like there's something down there, you know? But there's nothing. Come on, let me in, biatch! see anything over there like I feel like Rambi should be the key to the to the bonus or he doesn't make his rah, rah, rah sound I feel devastated man maybe I like gotta attack the wall just like dig into the wall let enemies fall on my head cuz I will be victorious when enemies fall on my head. Like, I know for a fact that in there is only bananas. Okay, can I, like, please go in here? Maybe. Oh, yeah, no, the bonus isn't that way. Maybe okay, we'll just have to skip over until I come back and figure out where it is. Like, why else would they give you a darn TNT barrel right here? Like, I feel like that's a waste on just a simple enemy. Cause down there is the... Oh, there's a rat that... No, dude, go away. No! Dude. That was sloppy. Wait a minute. Oh my lord, guys. The bonus was right next to the DK coin. In what world was that a good idea? Like, like, I guess it makes sense, but come on, that's kind of dumb. I have a text message answer after this. I will complete the first world in this episode, I promise you guys that. Though, to find the DK coin in Lockjaw's locker, I'm probably going to have to make another round to that level. That level's going to be annoying. Alright, so, I believe we're on... Uh, top sale trouble, yes. The Ratley level, but, oh. Okay, you start with Ratley right away. Wait a minute, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I want to see if I can make that. Like, I know Ratley can't grab on. Okay, I jumped on him. Interesting. Ah, there's the bonus. Okay, apparently we're not allowed Ratley here, just in case we came here with Ratley. Okay. Eh. Also, funny thing is, is you don't really need... At least not in this game. Okay, that is unfair because the enemy keeps going off screen. What? No! Come on! Guys, those me the, the mechanics are so bad in this game for that type of bonus. Like, the climbing and th and throwing is just so bad. Okay, man. Okay, we need to hit the other guy, though. The other guy has to be hit. While... On the side of the darn screen. Dude, can you... Can you not do that, please? Dude. Dude. Woo! Dude, no way! There is so little time for that. that this is a very difficult first world bonus. First world issues, Nostalgia the Scott. I know. Oh yeah, we hit the we hit the annoying one because now that with that we can now just run into him. Also, there's a little bit of lag created when we do this. Oh, what the? Wait, what? 
I'm like, if I fail because you send me down there, I will be mad. I think we just skipped over most of the level without rat. Yes. Yes, because that was fair. I could totally see that coming. Oh okay, yeah, I'm assuming we'll find a uh, DK barrel here pretty soon. Yep. Oh, we were going the wrong way anyways. Apparently you're supposed to go this way. Oh my lord. We cheese the system just for no reason at all. Oh. Yo, I just realized again. <laughs> I just realized again it's Lockjaw's locker music. Well, that was really weird. Also, why is there a spot down here? I guess it's just to like look like the sails are down, I guess. I don't know. Okay, good. You can still jump on the zinger. I was like, am I, is it going to be one of those games where I'm randomly not allowed to jump on the zinger again? Alright, so I think we go this way. But, ah, we went the wrong way. Apparently that's another way that we can go down. Uh, that actually might be the location of the DK barrel, or DK barrel, DK coin. I'm not actually entirely sure. Hang on. Uh, it's just bananas, but I will take them. Just to build up another life. Even though we still have a lot of extra lives. There's the halfway point. I really feel like the DK coin won't be till after the halfway point, because it would seem cramped to just throw everything in at one point. Okay. This looks like an obstacle course of... How in the world did I just kill a freaking cling? Clinger? Clinger. Yeah, his name's Clinger, not Kling. Okay, I froze in my jump there, which I do not appreciate, game. Like, I clearly know I was clicking the A button when you didn't let me. Alright, okay, this looks like a trap of epic proportions. But surprise, we actually picked the right way. Also, why are these zingers, like, going way into the sky when you know that they aren't gonna hit you? Hey, DK bro. Thank you. Ah, oh, I wonder if this will contain the DK coin. This right, maybe. Oh. Some of those. Er, uh, right there. Thanks. We should have five, but like I said, Lockjaw's Locker is not going to be one that I want to do more than once on camera. Also, there's the end of the level. Must get to the end. It's a really cool mechanic to have the ending level like that. Anyways, let's take on Crow's Nest. Oh, this boss music though. I like it, but it's so weird. I think it's a remix of... Yeah, it's a remix of uh, the K. Rule Duel theme. Dude, I don't even have to worry about him hitting me half the time. Now you're gonna do the whole I gotta get the two eggs to fall down thing. Do 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 do. It is, yeah. I like this remix though. I know it's not as good as the original, but yeah. Wow, a banana coin. Woohoo! My cat just smacked my drink cup like a maniac. Anyways, in the next episode, we're going to a fusion of World 2 and 3 in the original, Creme Cauldron, starting off with Hot Head Hop, because, you know, swamp and a volcano together makes sense. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.